Hi, I'm Ben with Battle Systems. This is the assembly tutorial for the Mines of Maruta set. Let's run through how to put all these pieces together so that you can delve too deeply and too greedily. Let's uh, keep our eyes peeled for Balrogs along the way. Before we get started, there's a few quick tips that we'll shall apply to almost any build. Quickly run through those now. For many builds, we'll use these plastic clips to put walls together and things. There's a range of different times, most of them are self-explanatory. There are a few that you should pay a little bit of attention to. Um, we have some slightly shorter versions of the straight clip. And these two in particular can look quite similar. As you can see, they build at different angles. And so if you're finding yourself getting a bit confused by how a corner is going together, because you've got two different types of clip and you need to use the correct one for it. The main difference between them is that one forms a right angle and the other doesn't. From time to time you might come across a slot which is a little too tight. It's a good idea to have a craft knife on hand for this sort of thing. And you can just slice down the edge of it to adjust the gap or another good tip is to use a pair of clippers and just snip and adjust and then you should find you have a nice neat fit. Some of our terrain has half cuts in it. This allows us to add things like opening doors or to create round shapes for things like barrels. The first time you bend these, it's worth taking a little bit of time just to open it correctly. And if you can see here, for this door, for example, you just need to make sure you support it the first time you open it to make sure that the bend happens in the correct place and then your door will open and close without causing any issues with the rest of the wall piece. For most of this work you're going to just be using your hands to pop out the sheets but it's useful to have some glue, some clippers, a craft knife and a cutting mat just to hand so you can do the certain parts which I'll show you as we go through. This set is ideal for fantasy settings and works beautifully with our dungeon terrain, but it could also double up in a more modern setting, perhaps as a location for some treasure hunters or a hideout from the apocalypse for your survivors to hole up in. But either way, it's going to create a very atmospheric backdrop for your games. So this set comes with two sets of mine tracks, a sheet of mine walls, and a sheet of mine scaffolding. Let's start with the heart of this set, which is the mine tracks. You've got some tracks, you've got a bit of wall that you can use as an entrance for the mine carts to run in and out of. You've got uh, some mine carts, some points, and obviously these mine carts could form a really interesting part of your adventure, perhaps using it to transport some valuable items or maybe even your adventurers themselves. We'll just pop those out, we'll take a look at them. The mine track is very simple. It's just a matter of popping it out. Just watch out for some little tiny bits that you might miss when you're popping them out. So for example, there's some on here, uh, and there's also a little one here that you might miss. And then when you're popping out the overlay of the rail, um, just watch out, there's a little tiny bit that you might miss as well. And then these are very easy to assemble. You just slot them together into whatever layout you want. But to give a bit more realism, we have these rails that you can lay on top, create a more three-dimensional look. You 
In this case, I would probably recommend gluing these on as really they're only one-sided. You could obviously flip them, but there's not really any reason to. So I would glue these on and then you've got a nice solid piece you can just throw in your box and bring out and build with straight away without having to find the right rail for the right bit. There are three pieces on this sheet where I'd recommend using some glue to stick them together. We've got this lever, we've got this bumper for the end of the line, and we've got the minecart. So we'll quickly grab our board and our glue, and we'll start sticking those together. Okay, so we've got our glue. We'll start with this lever. Just a little spot of glue along the edge here. And that's that one done. Next we have the track end or buffer. We have this part here, which is the base, and then we have a top, and these are the sides. These areas here just slot into the base, so I'm going to spot a little bit of glue on there, keep them in place. And then finally, we'll just slot this top piece in. Just put a little dab of glue in to keep it in place. And then that's that, also all done. Finally, we have the minecart. It's made up of these pieces. These parts will broadly hold themselves together, but I would probably just stick the whole thing together. And then you don't have to worry about it. You can just put it in your box and store it away. So we've got a couple of half cuts on here, which we'll just bend through a little. Then we have the sides of the cart and these slots. We slide them in. And that actually holds itself together quite nicely, but I'm still going to put a little bit of glue on there. Now that's rock solid, you won't have to think about it again. Finally, we've got this top piece and that'll just clip over the top here. Again, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue on. It's a bit of pushing just to slot it into place. And then the final step is these wheels and they add a nice little three dimensional element to it. So you can choose which side you want to put these on. They could either go here or here, it's entirely up to you. And these just attach with a spot of glue. Make sure they're lined up. And there you go, that's the minecart and it's all ready to fill with gems or gold or whatever it is that you're bringing out. Next we have the scaffolding sheet. On here we've got some scaffolding, an ore tipper, lots of ore, a ladder, and we'll just start popping those all out now and have a look at how they go together. The simplest parts on this sheet are some ladders, which you can obviously prop up wherever you like against the wall or across a gap or whatever you want to do with those. Those are easy. Uh, you've got some tools that you can use to scatter. And you've got some ore, either coal or gold. And that can obviously fill up your minecarts or act as a objective for an adventure or a quest. Next we have the ore tipper and that consists of these parts. 
and these pieces have half cuts on them so we'll bend those through first and then these will actually hold themselves together without any glue and you just slide this part inside of this part and then hook this inside there and then place the whole thing inside this frame and that will actually all hold together just through friction but again for something like this I would dab a little bit of glue on it just hold it all together and you can store it a lot more easily that way. Next on this sheet we have the scaffolding and that's made up of these components first place to start with this is to slot this longer piece through these pieces that form the legs. And it's just a matter of lining up the holes as best you can and then gently easing it into position. Like so. Once those are in place, you can put this reinforcing strip across the bottom. And then you can slot this onto the top of here. This is where the ladders come in handy. You can place them up against the edge as a way of getting up and down. There's a little step that just slots together from these parts, like so. And you can clip that wherever you like. This also comes with an alternative build. If we take this piece off here, pop that out of the way for a moment. We have these pieces instead, and this just slots together in exactly the same way as the first piece. And then we can reinforce it the same way. And it just gives us more options for how we want to lay out the board. So, for example, you could place it against here and then put the step down at this end, or you could extend it out in another direction, or clip the steps on here. It basically gives you a whole range of different options for how you want to lay it out with the board that you've built. The last sheet in this set is the mine walls. And in here we've got a mine entrance, we've got these pillars that go on the side, and we've got these seams of ore. The seams of ore are quite self-explanatory. You use them like any other wall piece. You just find a nice rocky looking textured part of wall and you just slot them in as part of your wider build. And they just build into it as any other wall would. We also have two kinds of mine entrance this more simple one and this slightly more complicated one. So we'll start with the simple one. It uses these parts. And we just start by slotting in these longer ones into the little slots at the bottom of the wall. Then we take this piece and slot it in across the top. And then it's a simple matter of lining up these pieces with the frame so you get it looking how you want it to. And then you can just bolt that into the rest of your walls. The second type of door 
has these pillars and this frame. So we'll start with the pillars. They have some half cuts on them, so we'll bend those through. And then these slot on either side of the door, making sure that you have this slot on the inside. And the same with the other one, again, making sure that the slot is on the inside. And that gives you the frame. And then we can put this beam across using the slots the top. And then we can put the legs in and we need to put this one on this side because it's slightly shorter. And then the longer one goes in this side. And then this little piece here just creates a cross beam that goes into it on this side. And that's your two kinds of mine entrance done. Here we have a dungeon set all built up and it's looking really good. Lots of fun things to play with and get involved with for your players. But what we can do now is we can quickly turn this set with just a few modifications from the Mines of Maruta kit into a mine. And I'll show you how we can do that really quickly and really simply. And there you have it, the perfect mine for some hard-working miners, the grand hall of a dwarven king, or a set of passages that are infested with kobolds. Whatever it is, we know you're going to have a lot of fun playing with it.